the Committee on Environment, Land, Agriculture, and Procurement Reform um, calls this public hearing back to order. It is now 6.01 p.m. on Thursday, October 18th, 2018. The purpose of this public hearing is to receive testimony from the general public on Bill number 356-34-COR introduced by myself, Thomas Sierra. Bill 356 is an act to validate the Chamorro Land Trust Commission decisions relative to residential and agricultural leases and to authorize and ratify leases issued from switched application date and time. Notice of this morning's, of this uh, evening's public hearing was provided to senators, stakeholders, and the local media. Um, and the notices were issued to meet the requirements of the open government law. The committee will continue to receive written testimony until 4 p.m. on Thursday, October 25th, 2018, and should be addressed to Senator Thomas Ada, Chairperson Committee on Land, and can be dropped to the mailboxes here at the legislature or email to the office at senatoratta.org. Uh, present with us this evening, uh, we do have a couple of the uh, commissioners from the Chamorro Land Trust Commission, uh, Mrs. Pika Feheran and Ms. Tichira, Chantel Tichira. Um, and we also have present with us the director, executive director for the Chamorro Land Trust uh, Commission. So uh, with that, uh, earlier at 3 p.m. we started and the uh, commissioners came up and basically uh, explained the resolution uh, that they transmitted to the legislature and the, uh, the attachments that went with it. And those were the basis for the particular bill that we're having a public hearing with. I also want to recognize the presence of Tanamanda Santos. Uh, she's also a, um, she sits on the Chamorro Land Trust Commission. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start uh, and we'll go in the order um, of sign up. Um, and so I'll call up first Ms. Lorette Guerrero, uh, Joe Garrido, and Linda De La Cruz. That will be the first group, and then I will call up um, the other individuals who have signed up. So, yeah, so Lorette, uh, Joe Garrido, is Joe Garrido here? Went, okay. Uh, and then uh, Ms. Linda Cruz, De La Cruz. Okay, fine. All right, you just signed in that you were in favor of the bill. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll start with you, Ms. Guerrero. Uh, turn, on, turn on the mic, please. Yeah, on. And for the record, identify yourself, okay? okay. Again, good evening, Senator and Commission members. My name is Lorette Tenorio Guerrero, and I am one of the recipients affected by the null and void of switch applications with the Tomorrow Land Trust Commission. I'm just going to read what I have so I don't lose track. Sure. On March 29, 2010, my sister Valerie submitted a request to then the C CLTC Chairman Oscar Calvo to switch application dates and time with me. My sister had originally applied on December 7, 1995, while I had applied on March 22, 2006. The CLTC received the request on April, April 2nd, and it was then reviewed and approved on June 15, 2010 by then former director, I'm sorry, I only had his initials, JGG. I received a survey authorization from the CLTC on July 15, 2016, 
and initially received my lease on August 10, 2017, but later my lease was amended to include the survey map just this past February. Um, I did some research and according to the May 11, 2018 listing of paid applicants um, that I pulled or that I retrieved from the DLM website, it appears that particularly 53 applicants have received leases from CLTC, yet their application dates vary between 2006 through more recent 2015. I thought only to focus on these particular dates because it was also around the time that I had originally applied. <clears throat> In comparison to the list of switch applications, and this list I was able to retrieve online through KUAM, which was published by Chris Barnett on May 16, 2018, 19 applications were approved for the switch, including myself, and had been issued leases. Although this list may not be complete in its entirety, as the CLTC has deemed that 102 transferred switch leases are considered null and void, I am now trying to understand how this could make any sense. Of the 19 switch applications with leases, some have application dates dating back to 1998, and some have switched with their siblings or other family members. While other leases that were not deemed null and void have application dates on or beyond 2006 and have also obtained leases from the CLTC through the approval of current and our former directors. I suppose my concern stems from how the CLTC within its authority can and may ratify all 2000 plus applications that have, re have received leases, including those who applied in 2006 and beyond, yet deem other leases transferred or switched as null and void when application dates vary between 1995 and up to 2015. I wonder if perhaps my application may have been one of those and perhaps the other switch applications, considering that some were approved to switch since 1998 and varying years later may too be included as part of the ratification of leases. Had the CLTC function in the manner that it should have, Perhaps we would not be here today to voice our frustrations and discuss with government mismanagement. Perhaps there will be no such thing as switched applications because the CLTC would have processed all applications accordingly by date and time, and if an applicant's application was paid for, not to mention the matter priority in relation to existing land ownership. Furthermore, upon reviewing the paid applications listing, I noticed that even current and former CLTC employees, family members alike, had applied on or later than 1995 and have, and have even received his or her lease, including those affected in the Barragata Heights area. I am curious as to how the government plans on reimbursing applicants whose leases will be voided. After all, it was the government who approved our switch applications and advised on the next step in building our homes. It was the government who broke the law, not the people. Since the CLTC was first enacted into law in 1975, but did not pursue the initial phase of issuing CLTC lands for both or either residential, agricultural until, until December 1995, it is now 2018, 23 years later, the CLTC has received over 8,000 applications with over 2,000 paid for. Moreover, there are a number of non-native Chamorros residing or encroaching on CLTC properties, building foundations for their families on these lands without <coughs> approval nor consent. And while the rest of those that have submitted their applications but are waiting patiently, have also began building foundations with the expectation that his or her application date and time will eventually come up. What then will happen to them since CLTC has not enforced any restrictions on unleased or issued properties thereof? For all of us native Chamorro people who have been patiently waiting for our date and time to come up, for all of us who have done everything we were supposed to do, notarize documents, research, consult with approved surveyors, survey the land, all of which was paid by our, by our own money, um, according to the guidelines of the CLTC, 
And yet we now have to publicly present ourselves to this legislature asking for your compassion and consideration. In all honesty, I don't want your compassion or your consideration, but rather I need, in fact, what we all need are positive solutions to this unreasonable, unfair, unethical practice of the Chamorro Land Trust Commission. <clears throat> Furthermore, I feel that the only thing that separate us, switch applicants, to those who are to be ratified are the words themselves, transfer and switch. If you look carefully at the dates of when applications were paid for and when leases were issued, even those who switch or for whatever reason may be, it may not have been necessary to make such requests as other applicants have received leases as their time and date are similar. Are those individuals who applied for property whether residential or agricultural, who have paid their applications and then have received their leases, are they any different from all of us who have requested to switch our application dates? As I said, the only thing that separates us are the words transfer and switch, because we are all native Chamorro people and we are all entitled to receive CLTC property. Again, had the CLTC function properly, I or we will not have to justify our concerns. So I'm, that's just my input as far as the switch applications, but I have other information um, if you want me to go ahead with sure. it. Okay. On a separate matter, at the time of my sister and I's application with the CLTC and on a separate, and of course separate occasions, my sister and I had both elected for property within the Paget Manila vicinity. This was due in part to keeping the property that my great grandfather, Francisco Fea Fea, had been preoccupying for over 40 years. His children, my late great aunt Delfina Arstiga and late great uncle Francisco Cruz Feja had also been residing on and around the same property in Paget Menino. My father, the second eldest grandson of Francisco Feja Feja, Emmanuel Feja Guerrero, has also since resided on and around the property since 1992. Furthermore, this property and surrounding properties were once categorized as Arendu properties. And from my understanding, Arendu properties now fall under the authority of the CLTC. To maintain lineal passage, my sister and I, along with, our, with other family members, have particularly applied for CLTC property within the vicinity of Paget Minilao. I have a copy of a letter that was written by former Joseph M. Borja on February 28, 1995, attesting that personal interviews with DLM staff and personal knowledge of the administrative director of the CLTC, Joseph M. Borja, indicate that the Fea family has been living on the area for approximately over 40 years under Governor McGuam authorization to use the property. He then clarifies that one, the Fea family has been occupying the land for over 40 years. And two, this authorization for Mr. Fea to continue to use the property until a subsequent long-term lease can be given to him and his family. Furthermore, Public Law 33-95 was enacted into law with regards to commercial leasing. It is understandably so that, it is understandably so that commercial leasing is necessary and it is, as it is meant to support a survey and infrastructure fund and to prioritize the use of the lease proceeds for the survey and registration and the construction of infrastructure on CLTC residential and agricultural properties. Yet unknowingly, the people of Guam were robbed of this particular funding. Nonetheless, while the CLTC works to recoup this trust fund by allowing businesses to lease CLTC commercial properties, are there or will there be any land left for the Chamorro people to build a home for their families, considering that there is a minimal percentage of land available? On another note, whatever happened with the Rendu properties that should have been grandfathered under CLTC? Shouldn't the families, such as my great-grandfather, to Francisco Fea Fea, have been allowed priority option to continue leasing under CLTC via the grandfathered clause if one exists. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Ms. Guerrero. You bring up some very good points and some very good questions. And I am not able to answer those questions now, but 
um, they are noted here in your testimony and we will find answers to them, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I have, um, Joe, is that, how good Joe? How do you need Joe Garrido? Okay, Linda, Del okay, Linda, we already, Chelsea uh, A? Testimo written testimony, okay, fine. Uh, Antonio Sablan, you gonna testify? Pues, I'm gonna then see Mr. Sablan, Fayet, Pues Hogu, next, okay? According to the list, you're, you signed up first. Hadimlago. Peshago? Pesh. Buenas, Lai. Shinata. Buenas. Buenas. Guahusi Vicente, you, Garrido. Tio Tungo, man mongito ripa man lusin ro, langin magawhin na man finmis yagi nengin niyan eh, por si tita nota, de video fangay ki. Dahil sige na yun na man nagiginit sa mongin tirisaw niya, de video fangay ki. O tatay ta este na bio be fino chamoro ah i chamoro na kasi na fino chamoro lagi malangus susu po mino English po tio hasun ay siya sa komprendya po mino chamoro esta diyan na malangus sa tao na kosinya o na klaro ni definition este afa mas kome kina wordable Pues sí, toda la línea está, este tú estás en el donde estamos en el liceo, como para matutón de nuevo, para más conseguir, para más ratificar, para más formar una olla, está ahí, me engañé en el liceo. Pero un hombre no engañé en el liceo, un hombre más en el liceo. Un hombre más en el liceo. Un hombre más en el liceo. Ale matutun sti samolantros mo laino ahiti man switzo pano matulay kanan hawzi gisa stombo dito mo laino gioran sa tang mag do nangas talas switzo na matutun gusto tungo hawzi maluna sa finonya na iuno ki membro ki komisyon na gaigin ano gusto besangan pa ako na na mo laino Di mana Swizzo? Bus di Debi nak pergi lagi nak nunggu ni? Tapi mana Swizzo? Debi ni mas pia ni nuebo. Zaman tiga hari sih mana line nuju sih? Pasti ni mana apa? Swiss mana tu laka? Wah di macam tu juga no. Lagi nak tempoh ni tu ni tu ni sih. If if wah hujan ni mana lu mana line an? Man lain no, dah mula lain no, dah mai go icalan no, gigi fusina ni batu gigi astombo, purpa be, kai gigi zamona gila gigi fila no, lo dengan permanor and void, but perma void iste. Aji pa fan responsable ni afa sa ginastakus ta kita no. Lagi nesta man harsaw nanto 
Dasya ko asya stress stress so man masakin ay niya di man sakin at auto. Hazi pa ba ina pasi? Dani hanun ni makulek. Dadangin estas ti para matsogo ita ibini na ay. E para para sina tutungo ko sina afa guaguhada sina tanu politikar istida para farma amon itsamoro ni tanu niya da para tatutun ni nebo. Lo na lahi hut fan ben i i mic ge na lahi hut i i mic fon. Okay, okay, ay la rap. Okay, taka lang tatanga zulo ke. All right, ay from the English lot ano. Lo este na i tasasangan kini ni lenga voidibo dan no and void dan no. Sita i legislatura o fa spia in peno temano ni po ma ratify este. Sinan sa nga niyo klaro ki definisyon afa kumikilin afang ki fino sa moro sa gana ba niti gosko pindi ki fino English di siya? Pues do sisti na lista ni manahono papa gini no? I finena na lista kasi guaha do sentus Otsu sentu na na list ni mana hagi sa man mana iyuzong laupudi ti matsuli gatu para i komisyon para siya para apreba ti edu di posine na na otimo ti matugi pues edu na masangan na nisita u u maatan ni ni komi komisyon sa na siguro na todo magay nu nu dinansi mo na pues esta ni ma ata ni zi dosentus na list zaman contento na man contento na todo esta nu nu man dinansi afar di posi po matsogi fera di o siya para fit ma pues esta matsogi zo esta man contento lo malago na Foto papa gil sa tura so para para u concur na ungan na 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 pareo luke i i natatanya i les la tura. Pues si otro na lista edzi i i fanangwa sento sento edzi ma switch edzi benti gaigi tata matulaka zani zani patgun i patgunya pues Matulay kay dos ilay tia 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 sedi ano na klasin action na, pues nu lo esta mo nazan no sa ani matsoguizo, mafaisin ni komisyon, kusina at segui masano man masanongi hunggan, ma pues magayt na man matulay ka man pues guaha mo mo no man hotsa. Lo ti leg nenya, ay man mamaisinam, pues maapreba. Edzo ni sita mafafaisin ni komisyon ko sina leslatura, no po apreba. Edzo na lista edzi manatulay ka, you know, despite na ti ti masedi, ti taigi zo gilay na po masedi zo na klasi. Lo pues mafaisin mana sa ta ta na bindisi pago, pues bindisi pago para mo na si ta ta at na half patasog. Pues yun yung tasasangan ni Steve di dos mid na lista na naansya, ma masasangan na mana torudo man mas mana switch. Ahi. Ahi no. Okay, ta na klaro ni. Wao pinyo nwa si na, okay. Gaul lagi tiada stok bau ni mana sweet, lagi ni mana kumpendi lagi tiada stok bau, lagi ni mana kumpendi familia familia tiada stok bau, no? Lagi tahu tak kucing nak dapat macam apa ni? Lo itu ni mas tihula kumpendi, ini mahagas mana mana nangga ni? Desta pagi ti mana orang pun mana sibi? Tiup tunggu ko macam apa sih nak kucing sweet si agas mana orang? I tahu tu ni, pada macam, perih zona aplikasi on, 
da ne ti sina ma sorda ma svizzero un tauto ne ho tutto tauto ni sina ma na fatto alu ti tungo come sto subeno lo gina tanno gina tempo da te ne gai gai fomo directa ne gai gai gini le cole na tauza tauza le cole baba bina ninna ne le cole man maulika ma sto subeno ma sto subeno le cole le cole na matta ti ti gela da che va bene, da pur rispetto, per se no, vorrà lo chiesti o tu, eh? Sì, mai. E noi si stesso mangiano, la tazza, bidane, si luta, per la tazza, bidane, lazzi, per le colocchi la tazza, bidane, lazzi, si può mangiare, si è ne mangiare, si è ne mangiare, e quella è una... e no, è una tatta non è. Lo dà anche in guai, di cucinare, da scena, ma tu zucchi, da... e papà la massa, e non ti comprendi, ti comprendi. Se mi chiede, abbiamo visto i cucinari, da scena, ma tu zucchi, da... ma... ma fatti ma tu no. E no, io, mi... ah, io, ti ma tu zucchi, te no, non ho un gan, ma tu zucchi. Da... Deve dire che non è una cosa che si può fare. Se si può fare una cosa che si può fare, si può fare una cosa che si può fare. Se si può fare una cosa che si può fare, si può fare una cosa che si può fare. Se si può fare una cosa che si può fare, si può fare una cosa che si può fare. Se si può fare una cosa che si ma non è pleno, 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 Those who are in English, those who interfere in our rights as to who we are and what we own on this island, I call them interlopers. Those are the non chamorus who interfere in our business. You see, Dave Davis, that's a business that is not 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 a business. Okay, well. Be on the lookout. If you don't know that Mr. Dave Davis has filed a lawsuit to, to challenge us on this Chamorro land trust land. Okay. Now, anyway, and I must be saying, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to la patatana nanga ta ke staman bi wit gatsu ton torusia la lekta la ana de 1995 sta po go gati mano neta no ti fa un gino gatsu po se no be songa sa ti ki uno de mi gusta lo que mali po songa lo aga sa man nongyo ni nenge ko sa ta to to no le sa no mosi sta sus mosi Buenas. 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 Antonio Alteru Sablan. Buenas. 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 Guaha stana ma ogang na onno giman mapus lo guaha siya tano o so ina soko na mungo o malum sa guaha manyiluta mas mana sisita itano so pero juan na taygu na onno gilista y neji manyuli lis guaha siya pabisangan guahu loke pabisangan na Guahu pagu imagalahin inasyon sa muro. 
Ya necesita ba isa nga anestesia para para proteger. E nasion sa moro gusia na grupo mo na matutuho nesti ma implement e ma implementa e it's a moral land trust na law. So it's a moral land, it's a moral in a nation to moral. Man, properties, man, kya camp, kya adiluk, then mano iti luta, si iti si nadol, angit santos, magalahin sa moral nation, loki, paikotti, put para ma pasas ti, tapo ma implementas ti na lai, O gagagaw na STE sa Moroland Trust Commission na umaratan todo si siya ilis o kumprende na sa ginwaha at ang tawagoy ni Manilutan na man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-man-
na kumuma na ini marching order gini front office sempi os gis o chogui da zagin prosigi o chogui mona zati a ti man en man en bebesti pan man no opi i membro ni kum i commission pues la chi zo sa ti ma chogui che chonia Reporters were attending this day. meeting the Moral Land Trust Commission. So we are going to go here. Like Una Mulili, the chairwoman, the Tizahu in the Pepinia, the animal, the Totsugi, Mona, the Fumalu. Uh, Unwa give Pumalu, come quintus, Pumalu, Kalaman Matkikila, the Pura, okay, okay, okay. Titaguizu, Tidebizu, not a wee. Mungana e commission, para thousand, said to Niana from my robber stamma e e e lease that Timatungo offer details e information. Debbie, you must go. Debbie, you must see how can control the justice. Another person, na, na, ma, kasing ma ata ni si Bergada Heights na list todo. Sa masangonyo na gaygizu na kipapanya i i hanum ni man ma bobumba uzung za statalu fufu man gigimin kini juna hanum za kogwaha no serap ni po ma prevent na paromana alikla i lugar za munga contamination para i hanum sa ko septic tank pa sewer line pa ma usa Then, <laughs> They go from agree or like that, you know. You know, they can't do my leg on ya. By from Mukat Tati, they by Sotta, you know. They do my leg on, they can offer you pesos, but offer you cent pesos. The second, they can sing on art and collect. So this is cent pesos. They can do those mid quantum infrastructure. So they can do that. So if they sell it, it's a moral land trust. But if Advanced more than the city more than the ma ma develop the lugar the most mega manyeluta no man memberesi the st it's a moru land trust debi loki the matutuzi the uma atan hisisya sa jagenzi lenga man aplica jo lo mungo unju sa bayna ila iu sa no guisa taitano the guau gaitano so munga no zagi no zagi dosi anisa ilai ugu na tempu kani in 1995 just about go of course major i i i i dalnya kau kume kelingya naji dosi anis i dalnya ugu na tempu u fortna ke eji tau tau git ini kai gita teku fumi fila endige siya na questiona te guau pa bi opino Lau David yung makonsidera ti zahu na ideya i para ma apreba si siya ni ni legislature para no automatic na everything is okay sa no pagol tito niya i sa moral land trust na pro ma examina kada uno ni nestina na list that David yung ma so we have been able to get the Tininas Basta sa Esti sa Linga Land Trust by Tamoru. Ayo ito Linga Land Pool for the executives ni Parafan Manana. Ayo ito Linga Chung Nia. Dan Uju. Dati kada gubit nu ala kwenta kada uno por uno 
You know, and I wa attani stays a wa attani chairwoman. Okay. Namano upi. Yeah, Mr. Sablan, I don't want to rush you, but we do have uh, more people that have signed up. Is that so probably for Nazana? Okay, best can see. No, anyway, we're going to meet in tomorrow. Land trust. We're going to chairwoman. The Sigia Sangan. The she was a coco. Half an ally, half an causa. Na suma porta si da tisinga ta sogi da nafasia kalani juni pagona iko mana buka si na ta na plan sa nu you know ma fanogi tolu fa posangan mana i tolu ni zonia ammunition por posangan gini na meeting za ane leku per per leku benti malati ya za tunggu na bena i credit lo ane i la phone na na hearing Sigiam tu mana yang questiona, si nadon? Lani lai ti mana opi? Direktor mana opi? So apa kau? Anak ukus tertina apa guzi? Tamanu tunggu ni ane jusi ane lai jadi jadi ti mana bukan aja? Ki utru bandar mana fana oge fana posongan? Dispenso jadi nuna guau cuit law. You know, member the Guahopagui Magalagi Nation tomorrow, the Malago na estimona para muna umana tunas the mana dinancisti the munga loke na para para uma preba todo senador sa no estamonazen na aligos and famaulik antes yun na preba todo. Okay. Sa inamasi. Si Dios masi, Mr. Swan. Ah, in. Next is Raymond Paris, and then I have um, Robert Celestial, and then Frank Munya. Okay, Raymond, go ahead. Good evening, Senator. Good evening. Uh, my name is Raymond Paris. I'm here today because I am one of the recipients that received a letter stating that the Tremor Land Trust property that was transferred from my brother, my grandmother to myself, that would be either no or voided. I'm here to get, I guess, clarification as to what the this ratified uh, document that we receive means. Um, I'm also here because I am one of 200 some applicants that is utilizing the property for myself like uh, previously mentioned we do have you, you I guess you can go around my neighborhood and you do have a lot of tomorrow land trust properties which is not utilized by the applicant itself him or herself it's outsiders that's using this 
yet I'm here because I'm using the property and my property is going to be considered no and voided. I think that the commission should go out to applicants. I know there's thousands of us, but yet you sh should be going out and seeing who exactly is using the property and go after those. You should void those applicants. Why us? We have spent, well, myself, when the property was transferred five years ago, um, we spent a probably over $30,000 on the property. And in the event that it is going to come down to where it's voided, how is the CLTC going to reimburse us that money? Uh, whatever's in the property, there's no way I'm going to take it with me. Uh, I, have, I have a home in there. I have livestock. I planted a lot of stuff. Uh, there's no way that I'm going to take that with me to where I'm staying at right now. There's no room for a fit a 40-foot container home and to demolish uh, an ex a front extension that we use as a patio. So uh, basically that's pretty much it, you know, uh, here to f find out really what the, the meaning is to this ratification. So, so just to clarify, um, like I said earlier to Mr. Garrido, there was two lists that were sent down from the commission. One was that 2,800 leases that were already issued. Mm -hmm. And that was the one that was uh, categorized as uh, voidable. If certain things don't happen, they can be voided. Okay, and that, that was the opinion from the Attorney General's office. And in, so what they did was they took all those 2,800 leases reviewed each one of them and basically uh, concluded that the last step that was missing was that those leases should have come before the commission for approval. And, 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 and they did not. So they've all come before them now, they've reviewed it, they've started this process and it's back around May and they're satisfied that um, that those leases are good. But they're sending it down to the legislature asking that um, we, we concur with their findings to remove any cloud of concern that may be hanging over those leases. And then uh, there was a second list, the list of about 102, uh, that were categorized, uh, characterized as vo null and void. In other words, because of the fact that they were switched, uh, maybe switched some people, maybe the guy who was, you know, had a number five and switched it with a, a grandson who was number 200, and they switched it, and the law doesn't allow for that. But it happened. Uh, in fact, I know that the next individual is going to testify basically to that effect. But the thing was, um, people, when they did that, many of them came before the commission and says, can we do this? They said, yes, you can. Um, at least I know of the one case where they said, yes, you can. Here, fill out this paperwork. And then we come back 10 years later and say, no, nah, it's void. So... I, I think the intent here is to see how we can, you know, make this right so that you can continue on with your lives and from this point forward, the next leases that come up for review, we make sure that we don't make the same mistakes again and we can do that by uh, making amendments to the law. So I assure you, you know, what we're going, the process we're going through here is not to find out how we can kick you out of your property, mm -hmm. but to see how we can make things right so that you stay on your property. Yeah, Senator, but what, what I'm getting at is I don't see why we, we, the people who have done everything the land trust has asked us to do, we have notarized documents. Mm -hmm. It was signed by the governor as well. So why are we being penalized for something we didn't do wrong? We didn't know the law. Well, I, I don't see the... 
I, I understand, and, uh, and the, the issue was raised, okay, because of, you know, what went on in Barragata Heights. The issue was raised, so the commission decided, well, let's take a look at the whole thing, and with the assistance of the Attorney General, made the reviews. But, you know, I, um, again, I, I want to assure you, the effort here is not to figure out how to get you out of there, mm -hmm. but to figure out if, in fact, you know, nothing wrong was done other than you made the switch, see how we can make that right. Uh, okay. For the record, I was never an applicant. Uh, my grandmother was applicant. It was given to me only because she owns a home which she cannot own a Tremorland Trust residential property. So she was given the option to give, to give it to a family member. Yeah. So it was never an applicant, it was transferred. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. And uh, I'm hoping that you know, um, we'll be able to pass legislation to make all this right so that we can, you can move on with your lives and we can move forward with the program. Okay. All right, thanks, Senator. All right, Mr. <coughs> Celestial. Buenas and half a day. Buenas. Chairman Tom Atta and Honorable, well, there's no senators other than yourself here, so. My name is Robert N. Celestio. I am a Chamorro Land Trust le uh, Lisi. Thank you for having us here today. I am in favor of Bill number 356-34-COR that will ratify the Chamorro Land Trust Commission leases. I am a Chamorro Land Trust Lisi and have been for over seven years. My wife, Yvonne B. Flores, and I are both retired from the U.S. military, and we both built our home on the property we now lease from Chamorro Land Trust uh, Commission. We have planted hundreds of fruit trees. We raise a few livestock like chickens and ducks on our ranch. We began this journey by obtaining permission from the director of Chamorro Land Trust Commission to switch date and time with a relative who signed up with Chamorro Land Trust in 1995. We did get a notarized letter from my cousin and submitted a document to the Chamorro Land Trust Commission and it was approved by the director of Chamorro Land Trust. We followed every administrative procedure to ensure that my family and I could clear the land, apply and install water and power, and eventually plant our fruit trees and vegetables. Mr. Chairman and honorable senators that are not here, we did everything in good faith to build our home and take care of the land which we now lease. To ratify all our leases will allow us, or at least my family and I, it will remove a heavy burden that our leases were deemed voided by the Attorney General. This will give us comfort and take us out of the limbo of condition that we are in today. Mr. Chairman, we have spent thousands of dollars in sweat equity to improve this land, which have been leased to us by the Chamorro Land Trust Commission. We will continue to be good stewards and continue to pray that all will be well with the passage of this bill, number 356-34COR. Thank you and may God bless you. Sincerely, Robert N. Celestial, U.S. Army, retired. Uh, for the record also, Senator, I thank you uh, and my family thanks you for the intent of this bill is to uh, fix what has been broken. Uh, for the record also, I'd like to say that I sat in on a few of the meetings of the Chamorro Land Trust Commission up there in the ITC building. And I've watched and I've heard, and they've done a, a good job. Their intent also is to help the Chamorro people to try and do what's right. And I think that's what you're trying to do here. And I just want to let the people of Guam know that I believe that everyone had in good faith majority to do what's right. And I think that this is the right thing to do. And I want to read this. I wasn't sure I wanted to do this, but just for the record, i like to read one of the uh, 21 GCA real property of the Chamorro Land Trust Commission on item B here. Uh, Chairman, it says, the commission may employ such clerical and other assistants who shall be classified employees as being necessary to effectively execute its responsibilities. In addition, the commission shall employ and fix the compensation for an administrator director who shall serve in a full-time capacity and who shall exercise such powers and authority as may be delegated to him by the commissioner, by the commission. The commission has the authority according to this law to delegate authority to the administrative director. That's what I read here. I'm not an attorney, but I believe that in the past, 
I'm making assumptions here, and that's where I think that's where we're at today, is that a commission authorized the administrative director at that time, giving him the authority to do what they did, meaning to switch dates, to do this and that. And the administrative director assumed that also, according to Mr. Bora, that he had the authority to do this. And it's written right here in the law. They have another passage in here that talks about the authority of the minister director. But here on this section, it states that the commission has the authority to delegate the administrative director to give them the authority to do these things. So that's my uh, interpretation of this law. So I just wanted it in for the record. And thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Celestial. Okay. We got Frank Munya. Okay. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Trini Torres, uh, Fred Uggen, and Richard Munya. Okay, Trini, go ahead. For the record, please identify yourself. Turn on the mic, please. Oh, okay. Hey, Spencer, okay. Buenas. By finit Samoro, then me gave in English, I must incomprehend this. It's a big Samoro land trust. Plus. Oh, okay. Uh, Buenas tardes. <laughs> ok. Ya, porque de ese somos todos en Italia. No, me gusta. Ya, es como el mamón y por malo manjar, ya es fanático. Ya, todo el día, todo el día. Anyway, ah, guajú y más amco la magahaga of Tomorrow Nation. Dije si, si, Tony Sablana gini to mestigo gini. Gita pago magalahi git some more nation. Logomas amko. Si fai loke digi. Mangi gagi. Ta kumbida todo ita tata ne hadi me kumu. Posungan. Mangayan ne gini den gogosatani si tomorrow land trust. Manata guian and titodo and mangayi. Okay. Za untungwa ino sa kasi ang lilian nista pa na no sunon lil lo lo ina kadesi todo birada mo okay za agadesi man matun na tau toloke pues ungan in pipila na si tanu sa importante man pues ko sa importante panila lata pues ungan ba faisi na nito talo na fera di esti na public hearing ta necessita mas sa ta necessita ta revise estima proposal ma propose na ni to more land trust man manayanzo da kafera ni ano ikata makatajo da mul mega ma pasalista papa siya hafa ma solda da hafa si debit yung matamalik no Dan gua di man malik lo man malagu amzo na pena preba hafa bidania. Di rada fine kalan no di jawdo na palabra pen pen rada fai. It's kind of really kalan mampus official na ito. Da kana na na. Baba si ninte ko di 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 sa anafa guha na problema po guha fan man sufan sa pesaldi sempre na open no si na legislature sa ma fit maloke at ma preba tinal lele ko na nige pero po guha lo guha ni tau tau na niya emukit ungan si de Davis ni tau tau na siya ungan embassy to ta self determination ma emuk Pues, ya no, que la tiene molic sin interconectar. Lo molic me que quiero ver. 
Public lo debine no un na yan loke ja pere in ke tungo mas hafa gago ha angim pe matalai ka stina lo okay put for bot sa preciso man pos importante man pos ja o tu go tunga ambisi senator po bu da ju ha ge sa molik bi da da na ja juda i ta 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 ambi ja on the side of the family finance, nay, the Malefasa, the documentation, then, then I just did that out of that. The Wagadesi of a bit of the Nasa, Guana Judah, Nitamor Nation Talo. Pos, as you give a face in Amzua, na Tanisita, mass public hearing, Kenipogwa. Okay? So now find it again. The Nansel, the bill 356 is only to ratify the list. The proposed amendments that will be a separate bill ah. that will have another public hearing. Okay, put for both. Sa estine na lai, debi detat hassle maulik. Okay, sa tipa tatogya got pi no sa agasa estino edge fana na ti magugus kumpundi a fagagwa sa ti matati ziloke. Pos debi detik mas ta ketungo hafa para pata. But more like me and patato like the patatijis at the gate, you know, so kuna and that's all we see. Debbie do matatiji need some more land trust paramona. Munga mama baba put for board at the gate, leleko. The Debbie sa no itano important tipe to tota. Pos no at the gate, maybe if in English, ah, the time of an island so go to my final tomorrow. ST we input ne we need more public input from our people look it's not just not just not just now or just during uh public hearing lo fange kentos gredo and sina hanzo sa gose su commentos sa gana ta juda ta 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 fa gwa we we need to give our input and if when you're kind of shy don't be shy you know, I'm shy. I used to be shy, but forget it. You know, it doesn't help me at all. Anyway, the welfare and situation of our Chamorro land trust is very important for our self-determination because the lands make our homeland and our human resources are of the utmost importance for our future survival as people of the Isla of Guahan. We need a legal task force, and that's what I'm asking you, a senator, and uh, to please, with your other senator colleagues, and I know that you do have lawyers also, like, Spot on. See Jim Spot on. Okay. Tony Dos, nay lawyer, look it. Jasina and Isa is an advice. And you get attorney general on BMB sister, Yininaya and your advice, knowing that some are, are to be voided, 102. Then I do trust her work because she must have gone through it. But I think we need to go through the whole thing as a whole. To see, because we don't want to get the, uh, we don't want the Chamorland Trust to be in trouble, because we're always getting getting attacks from all over. Please, uh, oh, now you, thank you. 
So we need a, ta a task force to study further the validity and suitability of leases issued by the Chamor Land Trust Commission, and especially in regards to the resolution number 218-909 by the present Chamor Land Trust Commission. I, 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 I got a copy from them when I was attending the meeting, uh, and I asked them for a copy because I want to follow what they're, they're going through and what they gave you, okay? And to correct and improve the present situation with the residential and agricultural land leases issuance to our Chamorro people. To decolonize our people, we need We need to belong to a homeland in exercising our self-determination. And our homeland is Guahan. Our Chamorro land trust in our homeland identifies us as a Chamorro people. So it is that important to our people. Thank you very much. I've been a Samora Loki Senator Laya Sabe Tungapanua Utunga from the English Loki Law, like Kuna Mulinga from the Sword. Anyway, I'm to debate, yes, to Tunsi Fred Agono. You know, as Zurmasi told the members of Palinia, although it's an esteem and testifying appointment, you know, who uh, comprehends and closed the Agang Law. Vinena by you, now congratulations, the board, Utunga, and Dunkulu, Mr. Bora. Amanda, si Pika, and si, uh, Mr. Chaira, uh, don't call us in obligations and uh, responsibility. Don't call us also the uh, Macat law, the senior comprende line, Pinena. Don't get the banana, banana for honesty, the papa, but better for two said Pinena. Pinena by by song honesty, uh, by two up and uh, that been on the Senate at that one as in my streets and would you say like uh let call it all the stuff in English night just if in English on behalf of Baba Bank night and get a palabra law happen at the senior Guaha and guess a mandana I got to visit tomorrow the senior men interpret night it's a moral the senior my comprende mass a palabra you know come a killing yes I wanna Un the palabra and I to know of a lie or something, right? Okay. As you as you know, uh, 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 it's a good suggestion, uh, to senior, no, uh, and Malawi board by, by, truly, tempoco free, by, uh, interpret of a lie, you know, so go to no life in the summer. No, um, then being comprehended, how pass a senior to get problem, and I, a senior board, uh, no, Zapino Tony, Zurmazi Tony, na he board Marcus I T C, Mr. Adin Adnesti, the director, executive Bora, right? He board Marcus I T C, visa. For benten he board na he nagai gi problema non he tagbe no siya sa uzo. Ah, tada siya ba yapa punta no kalulut adi lachi lao, no ang dangkulos tina lachi, okay? For usa zedze sa zunay na kausinya. Guaha member of Tau Tony Senior Manaini Lai give you no English, the Senior Pula from Tomorrow Zakada, Kadaman one meeting yesterday, board night, you can say Lalada by public or whatever opposite or whatever I get lie. Right? So Senior Masina comprehend. Okay. Your true, um, a Tutungi composition like a board, Utunga and I go Benno. Guaha no board no no sana ni pofana punta ge board, okay? Local e go betna par kun todi legislature ge este CLTC board nae umahalo man apu punta membro par no e go betna lamon ni paro you know senator ko ko sino no pese question no ko e go betna todo este se membro ge CLTC board guiza no no umapu punta. A thousand percent is on the legislature. 
pus debi nai dia gua halai nai nau lai debi dia gua sajigi nai gai gai ka is kutsi na ada sempe nai sajangi nai umi ita gai ka bazu nai ma udai lama bulam be sempe ba ba ria loko mo gua otrom be nia zi you know sa pulite kam be sti papa di puni whatever you say pulite ka da sti you know pus debi di gua fe sanya loko leje leje sa sina nai iu gani ga goi lai kia leng ai te ma permit is lo Or antai gueno ko sinya zi elected board zai tau to bota large sa sa tunga sempe na tsuga ta toge bente one with the other go ha problema sempe lo sinya un 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 una mediana i problema ni azuna klase no sistema ne okay sinya azu ge zo zo kwasti kwasti ono i otro Utunga na ti pareo esti na klasi i Samoro Land Trust and i azi Land for the Landless, right? No, sa Malaysia na i Gua Land for the Landless. Za lo inu ata ni requirement ka lang pareroa pinini na Samoro first requirement na pun Samoro ang tautaw i resident ng Malaysia, right? Azi ge Land for the Landless, okay? Lo betunga pa Tres jantrik man manai hipis untung apa hipis no, jadi man mata mak kita omnis nai man manai amikano apa ka apa ka anak esti itu man manai profesor ke universiti warm manai profesor wago mana three story Malaysia ke bilibe manai jadi land for the landis nai man aplikasi size pama guna quarter man man Aplika dosa manai ini cek istilah land management masa nganiu nai mayor wira lah moni mayor ni azil land for the landis ini cek i mayor lengai land management tu tunggu azil bersikun sabli. Yeah, we're gonna need to get back to the Chamorro land trust land. Ah, nai okay. Pula juga unah nai example sti kau kumeke i problem masa gini kau kalan tay gue nau nai nak klasi i lengmu gua listan i azil from that priority one, priority two, three. Kau mana mana ini jadi priori, di kaki priori tiga sa, no sinyal naik taza, jadi priori one no qualify, why you know, kau kau adzus naik ni jadi na 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 babarias na na mana halum stesia, pula adz, esok esok testimoni ini para bay ketungo, spesial na pui dia taza nesti na babarias, you know, gini na na kelas itu. By now, it's all no congratulations, the board, the board, the board, the board. The one, you know, five, like, the more, so, I, the CD, the CD, so, the, to the tempo, one, the 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 law, chairman, the native fishing rights, but I did it, you know, pues, Tori tempo gai gai kurasong gi para ite sa mga just masay sen. Okay, just masay mas tagan. Mr. Munia, Mr. Munia, and then I have I have Matilde Mercado, Isaro Mercado, and John. But you just just in favor, right? Did you want to speak? Okay, go ahead, Richard. Okay, good evening, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Richard Munya. <clears throat> First of all, I just want to let you know, uh, of course, obvious, I'm a disabled veteran, but back in 95, a lot of local Chamorros or Romanians you want to call, you know, stood numerous hours just to put an application and all that, paying their $50 for the fee. And, you know, in my situation, I don't know about the rest, but that day, I had to make a big decision, lose my job or apply for land. And so what I did, I took that step. I went to the last day to put in my application, ending up losing my job at the same time because I wanted to be one of the fortunate Chamorros to get that land. But when that day come 22 years ago, or today, sorry, 22 years today from today, 
they just realized that I receive, I keep following up and I just keep asking, you know, Chamorland Trust, you know, is my name up and all that, there's a long list. I, I realized that there were names before or after me that got land, but I never questioned that. I never questioned that. I don't know what the priorities are. But when my day came up and they said, oh, Mr. Munoz, you're up for your land, I end up going up, filling out the form, then something just kind of like the, one of the employees said, oh, Mr. Munoz, I'm sorry, you're not able to get a property or a land. I said, why? Because you're a homeowner. So you, I told him, I said, Back then in 95, I just got out of the war, the Gulf War in 91, came out to Guam, my hometown, to start a new life with my family. Got fortunate to put my name in, listed in the list in 95 to get one of the land. And when that day came, you told me I'm not eligible to get my land. And they told me, oh, because I'm the original applicant. So what happened was, they said, oh, but Mr. Munya, you can give it to one of your kids. I said, okay. Because in my, if, if, then I said, you sure? He said, yeah, because you know, they don't have a property and you're, that you're, that's your blood. So I said, okay, so we went ahead and processed that. Last year, the, you know, I paid $28, I guess, for processing fee because the director, you know, had to overview uh, the overhead viewing of the plan of whatever people getting on the property where we're at that they gave me. And, or, and then, just this year, I received, just not long ago, I just received the original document that was signed by the director and the governor that, hey, Mr. Munya, finally, this is your property. It's all approved and all that. Then just recently, just Friday or Saturday morning, when I received my mail, I was one of the 102 that received that, oh, uh, void or no. Like, it kind of puzzled me, like, what's going on? The attorneys investigating all this, the board of commission and all that, but back then, where were they communicating with the director or, or what? Why now that they stepped in because one complained about the other and then overall, the whole island is investigated on the applicants because what happened? I don't know what happened if other peoples were, you know, like one of the gentlemen put under the table, they were giving them land and people, you know, were, kind of like buddy-buddy system or part party system, but that didn't bother me. But when I finally got that opportunity to get one property in this island, now this is the respect after, you know, fighting for my country, you know, coming back home, hopefully that I could live here and, the, you know, but fortunately I was, you know, fortunate to purchase a land and a house because I qualified that time when I was under Section 8 in the food stamp department because I didn't have no occupation. I was in the armored division. I shoot tanks. I went to the Gulf War. I fought the Iraq. I see many things, but I don't need to share. The point is, this is about the property. But now, this is the turnaround that we get the appreciation from our, you know, I guess the board or, or the attorney investigating, and now, my son is the one I gave the property, uh, property to right now, which I have the, the application right here saying sign and approve and seal. But now they're looking at stripping it away from him. And I, I can't tell him this news yet until I come to this conference or to this meeting because right now he's in the armed forces following my step. He wants to serve our country. He wants to do his duty too like his father, but I told him, hey, you don't have to. But he wants to come back to that land that he finally have to settle with his family. But now this is all happening now that I don't want to break that to him because I don't want him to, to go through that, that burden that, oh, well, man, you know, I'm not going to have the property because I don't know what's going on in Guam. But in reality, sir, I just want to say is a lot of local people here in Guam deserve the land. I know that the... Commission, the board commission wants to forgive, you know, whatever happened from the past from Barragada. I don't understand what all this is all about, but I was one of the 102 saying that you cannot switch your, 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 but I wasn't the one that wanted to switch. I wanted to have that property, but when they told me, oh, the criteria said that Mr. Munya, after 22 years, they said, Mr. Munya, oh, I'm sorry, you can't have property because you own a house and a lot. I work so hard to start a new occupation. I went to college 
to get a better education, to get a better opportunity, to get a better job, which I did finally. I excelled, but all through that time, I also cried going through studies and all that because I got small children to support. I can't quit my work, so I have to go full time to work and go to school at night. Finally achieving getting my own certificate, you know, as a journeyman, sir, I tell you, it was really hard going through all this process, but you know, the true story behind this is all this I went through, uh, my kids suffered, and the locals, whatever their stories are, you know, all that's just gonna be stripped like that because the commission decide, hey, you know, uh, your property might be taken away from you and all that, or oh, I don't know what the story is. But if worse come to worse, I want my property back then. I'll take it back from my son if that's the case. But if they say, oh, Mr. Munya, you can't do that, your land, I'll give my land to my wife. I don't care. I want my property. I waited 22 years. Finally, after the 23rd year, 2018, I finally got something to hold and show my son, you know, Hey, son, look, you finally got your property. It's stamped, approved by the governor, the director, and everyone. But now all this thing going on because somebody's error, trial error, which I know the people is not to blame. It's the, you know, Chamorro Land Trust Commission or whatever. But now that everybody has to suffer, you know, and worry, oh, am I going to lose my land? Am I, you know, my son paid for the surveyor. He already got his lot. I got everything here. But now we just don't know what's the board and the attorney is going to decide, oh, we're going to strip it away. And, you know, this is what we locals are looking up to you guys saying, give us that opportunity, chance to settle. Especially when my son gets out from the military. He wants to have that land to support. He, wants, he had dreams already on that land, what to do. But now I just don't want to share that to him until I hear what the final decision that you guys are all going to come and turn around and... You know, I don't know how long that's going to take until after this meeting. I mean, I'm just hoping that the attorney, uh, general, whatever, and the board commission, you know, really reconsider their, their whatever findings. Look back, especially for those that, you know, veterans, actually, you know. We chose to do that because we want to, you know, uh, defend our country for all of us to live, have our freedom. But, you know, I remember when I was in the war in, in, in Iraq, I received letters from a lot of the old uh, senators thanking me as an islander, supporting Guam soldiers, be out there, you know, thanking us, defending our country. But now I'm looking back like, now what's the senators today gonna do? If, what they're gonna do to us veterans that suffered back then? And I got health conditions. I got PTSD, but, you know, I'm not going to put that and have you guys have sympathy on me or have burden on me or, or have pity. But I just want to say my piece. I just want to hope that whatever is the decision you make, that you got to reconsider everybody's case, case by case, not as a whole. You know, look into people's case and see what, why they have to change their, their application to another person. It's not because it was a choice. It was forced to be done. That's all I have to say, Sunday. You've, uh, you've said it all well. Thank and you, I uh, thank you for your service. And well, we'll work hard on this, okay? Thank you very much. All right. Okay, which of the Mercados do we have here? Thank you very much, Senator. You, thank John? you for everybody uh, that came in uh, to provide their testimonies. Um, Segurito, uh, San Antonio Sublan, uh, Sina Trina Torres, everybody, we're, we can sit here and talk all about uh, the problems of the Chamo Land Trust Commission and how everybody got duped and everything. My history, I'm here to speak for my mother, Matilde Mercado. She, is, she just turned 80 this year. She applied for a land trust uh, application in 1996. One, one moment. Excuse me. Okay. okay. So she applied in 1996 in the hope that she would get a, you know, at least a, a, a land, a lunsu, just to go and spend her like later years, uh, have a ranch or even like a, a home away from home. Uh, hard times happened. She lost the home and then, uh, and she 
waited all this time, and then finally last year, it was approved through a transfer with one of my aunties. How that happened, I don't know, or how far she sat down on the list, and how that, but it was all approved and everything. And also, I'd like to uh, appreciate the effort that Pika uh, and uh, Farron and they're bringing out all this stuff to light in Tomorrowland Trust, all of the stuff that's happened before, whatever. And I agree with everybody that uh, every case should be looked at case to case, and the land should be given to the Tao Tao Tanu, the Tomorrow people, you know, case by case. But I could go on about, uh, uh, how, about, about the gripes and, and the whole complaints about everybody. My only question here is, does this bill guarantee that our leases will be ratified and approved? Well, that's the objective of the bill, but of course its passage would depend on eight votes, eight senators voting to pass the bill. But that is the objective, is basically to say, okay, what has happened has happened, and uh, to try and undo it uh, has probably greater ramifications than, than, than we want. For example, the individual who has built a home on the land, uh, I think earlier they, it was uh, calculated that if, if we were going to terminate all those leases, the government better be ready to come out with $15 million to reimburse. Exactly, the those, recompensation for, for all these people that are, because right. we, we have actually spent some yes. money surveying yeah. the land and everything, you know, and that's already where we just got to go in. That's right. Then we get the letter. Yeah. So that, that's why I'm asking you, that's, that's my base question. But Does this guarantee those 102 leases, one of which my mom's is? Yeah. And that's the objective be, of this bill. And it's, it's a matter now. Well, earlier this afternoon, we had the commission members uh, come to testify and explain to the, um, there was one, two, three, there was about f five other senators that were here, at least to explain and to answer any questions that they had. Uh, and I think they did a good job. But uh, this is a process that we have to go through. And then we'll report it out of committee. and. Um, bring it to the session floor when we go back in in November. But to answer your question, the objective of this bill is to basically say, you know, what has been done, has been done, and as far as I know, there has been no fraud um, um, that, you know, has been committed in these things. Uh, in fact, many of the people that changed, that switched positions, did it even with uh, concurrence from the commission. Uh, so to come back later and say, well, now I've changed my mind, doesn't seem fair. True that. So, um, but that's, that's, that's what the bill needs to do. Okay, um, that basically that's all I, we wanted to bring up. Uh, that was my main concern, and I thank you very much okay. for your effort exclusively to try to rectify the, the, this whole mess. And thank you for your patience uh, in waiting. Um, You're welcome. I think, so is, is that finished? That, that's it. Okay. Um, okay. So I think we finished the uh, list. We've, there were three Mercados that, that signed up. Which, which Mercado was that? That was John's. That, that was John? Uh, please, please, yeah. Okay, fine. All right, thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Ben? Uh, Senator, can you ask the uh, revenue and tax if they can postpone the payment of the Chamorro Land Trust property on the Chamorro that... Uh, Order to pay taxes until this thing is solved. It's a moral and uh, the revenue tax, right? They give out a uh, listing of property taxes, including Chamorro Land Trust land. 
Can you tell them if they can postpone that until this thing is settled? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'll take note of that. If it's possible, sir. Yeah. And my last comment is that this more land trust land, the only reason that was created is for the sole purpose for those Chamorros who have no land and to those Chamorro tools that whose property was taken or stolen by the military or federal government. That I have, that's all I have to say. Okay, so thank you, sir. Okay. All right, so with that, we have exhausted our list, unless I think I got everybody that signed up. And um, we're going to go ahead and recess this hearing uh, until uh, next week. All right, thank you very much.